Hi, I'm Christina and I am here coming live from the coast of Maine to make you a really wonderful healing soup. So today we're going to make a delicata squash soup which is great for the element earth which we're in right now. It's Indian summer, it's October, it's warm, warmish, coldish, the days are getting cooler but it's getting cold. We can tell that soon there'll be snow on the ground. So the most nourishing food that I've found is soup. And I love making soup. And what I do with my soup is I put my intention into the soup. So what does that mean? Well, I want to put love into the soup. I want to put grounding energy into the soup. I want to put prayers into the soup. I want to think of the person I'm making the soup for and kind of specialize it right for them or for my family or whoever I'm making the soup for. I have carrots, um, a leek, some scallions, beautiful, beautiful red onions. These are all local, right, right from here. Um, of course, we have garlic and some fingerling potatoes. These are wonderful potatoes that look like fingers. And they give a little bit to the soup. And then, of course, we have our delicata squash, which is a beautiful, um, subtle, wonderful flavored squash. But I just wanted to tell you something about the vegetables, because it's very important to think about your vegetables. Again, this can be done fast once you get into the hang of it. But the vegetable kind of tells you how it wants to be cut, which is, it sounds strange, but you see this is a nice, beautiful carrot. What is the carrot telling me? It's kind of using my intuition as I make the soup, and that's what makes the soup fantastic, because I'm putting my intuition in, my energy, my intention. So this carrot may call out to me one day and say, I want it sliced. It may say, I want it julienne. It may say, I want it in their hole. But today, the carrot is saying to me, you know, just cut the tip off, not too bad, and then give me some really thin, round slices. That's what this carrot is calling to me to do today. So I am gonna slice it up nice and thin for the pot. Wonderful, look at that, beautiful. So we'll put the carrots aside. Now I have a little piece of celery. It's a cute little organic piece of celery. Again, you don't have to use organic food, but if you can, if you can afford to buy it, it's, it's great to do that. I like to use, to just cut off the edge there. Again, what is it asking me? Does it want to be in long strips? Does it want to be in circles? This one would like to be in little half moons. Since the moon is about half tonight, it's appropriate. We'll just put our scraps in the compost. And we do the same for all the vegetables. Again, we'll go with the half moons. And the thing about making all your vegetables the same, like cutting each separate vegetable in the same style is that it feels better. So you, when you're eating your soup, you know that everything that looks like this is a squash. Everything that's a round disc is a carrot. If you mix it all up, it starts to have the feeling that, you know, what's in this soup? It's kind of all just thrown together. So it's nice to have these symmetrical shapes. So once all your vegetables are chopped, you start to make them, put them in the pot. I start everything that I do with this wonderful extra virgin olive oil from Italy. Can be from anywhere, but that's just what I use. So you coat the bottom of your pan with the oil and start with garlic. And saute that for a little while. So I let the garlic simmer for a couple minutes. No, you don't want it to burn. Just keep it on medium. And then I will add the leeks.
And leeks give such a rich flavor to soup. I just, I love leeks. You don't have to use onions with leeks, but for this soup, we're gonna do that because, again, it's this time, it's this season where everybody wants to stay nourished and healthy and transition from the summer into the fall. And all these root vegetables, garlics, onions, they really help to nourish the parts of your body that need it at this time. So I'm gonna put my red, my beautiful red onion in the soup. And just keep mixing it, let everything get soft, a little bit clear. Smells incredible. And the thing about soup is to have fun with it. You know, I'm showing you here and it's very technique oriented, but you can be making soup and listening to music and dancing. You can make your soup with the kids on the floor playing. You can make it in total chaos, which is what I do most of the time. Um, you can put it together while you, you know, have something else in the oven while you're baking. You can do it any time of day. You know, soup will keep for a couple days, two or three days. It's a great lunch. Again, extremely nourishing, warming. The reason why I like it is because I'm warm all summer and I t start to get cold when the season changes, and this just warms me up. A bowl of soup, incredible. So when the onions get soft, the leeks get soft, you can add, um, the celery. And again, just let that soften. With the element of earth, you want to think of grounding yourself. So these root vegetables, the onions, the garlic, the leeks, they grow in deep in the ground. Not too deep, but they grow in, in the ground, underneath the soil. And the energy of them is always downward. Carrots, same way, downward. It's growing downward. So if you're feeling a little unbalanced, which sometimes we can feel going, I mean, we can feel it in any season, but especially going from the warmth of summer into the cooler of autumn, um, the root vegetables help ground us. So it brings you from heaven to earth in a nourishing way. So you, you want to have these wonderful grounding foods. As winter goes on, we get into more and more root vegetables. I'm going to add the carrots. Look at that beautiful color that comes alive. You have the purple onions, beautiful green leeks and celery. Now the carrots. It's the light color feels good. It just sizzles away. Ah, oh, smells amazing. I'm going to add the fingerling potatoes. Again, they give them a new dynamic. And I'm adding potatoes to this, this batch because I want it to be a little bit more hearty. If you ever want something to be hearty in a soup. Just add a potato, and that brings it. Then you're like, wow. And these potatoes were, uh, my kids picked them right out of the garden. So they're, they're local, which is great. You want everything to be as local as possible. But again, don't get too hung up. You know, if, if all you can do is run into the supermarket and buy a potato, then do it. As long as you're making the soup and you're putting the intentions into it. Now. Once I have all the vegetables in the pot, I'm going to add the squash now. Delicata goes in. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. It's just sunlight. Ah, wonderful. And just let it simmer for a little while. So, all the vegetables are in the pot, and we cover the pot with water. Nice, cold water.
cover the vegetables with water and then bring it to high and we want it to boil. At this point, I throw a little bit of salt into it. Not too much for flavor right now. A couple of bay leaves. Bring it to a boil. So while we're waiting for the soup to come to a full boil, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the intention part of the soup because the intention is everything. If you intend something, then it will be. So you have to kind of have a good energy while you're making the soup and then it goes into the soup. You put your intention. So I'm intending good, um, healthy feelings for my friend down the road who's having a hard time who I'm making the soup for. You know, I may be making a soup for a party, so my intention goes in to have a happy, fun time. So it's a lot of fun intention going into the soup. So it's kind of what I'm thinking is another ingredient. So I, I pureed a little bit of the soup, and I'm going to pour it back into the pan, just to give it a little bit more body. see, thickens it up a little bit. So we still get the soup, the squash, vegetables, and then we have a little bit of the thicker broth. And then I'm going to cover it again, continue letting it simmer, let it cook down just a little bit more, and then we'll have our lunch. So now we have this beautiful pot of soup here. Look at that. I'm going to ladle it into this nice big bowl. Perfect Indian summer day soup. We'll sit down here. So this is our soup for today, delicata squash with wonderful leeks and vegetables. And you can find the recipe at intentionalsoup.com and lots of other good things there. So remember to breathe and have a great day.